Hi there, I'm Tommy Kendall from The Torque Show, but I am also an IMSA racer, I'm a five-time champion, so I'm going to give you uh, my first laps, but give you a look at the new Charlotte Roval, which has been added to the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship schedule as part of the COVID restructuring. And so no one's going to have any experience here, so I think it's going to be really fun to watch who gets up to speed more quickly. Um, and now I am driving in the Porsche RSR of simulators, the magic of simulation, CXC simulations. This is their Motion Pro 2 simulator with these unbelievable screens, full motion. And, uh, and I've also selected the Porsche RSR GTLM car to actually do my laps in. So let's go out on the track. It's a really busy place. And the guys and girls are gonna earn their money because it is no rest. So we're going to go out here onto the circuit, and it's it's even though it's an infield roval, it it really feels like an up and down. It feels uh, kind of like a street course with walls, but with some elevation change. So it's going to be hard to pass. But the challenge of really charging and not locking wheels because of the you know the, the never being straight, and the elevation change is going to be a really cool challenge. Now the grip level of an RSR on these Michelin Pilot race tires means that you just, stuff's coming at you a million miles an hour. And like right here, look at that blind exit, dab of the brakes. I'm not sure how they're gonna treat this track limit wise. So we'll try to treat that more or less like it's a wall and not drive all the way over it. Although they might be allowed to once we get to that. But notice the banking also a lot steeper being a mile and a half oval instead of a two and a half like Daytona. And that just means you can't see nearly as well in front of you. And it, that comes into play more coming off NASCAR 4 because you really can't see that chicane until it's on top of you. Now another thing that comes into play is the change in banking. So there you finally see it, but now you can't give full brake until you're down and the car gets flat. You saw the skid mark I left once before because the car had a little bit of cross weight in it. And then a little dab of brakes. This is a real commitment corner here. Look at that. My neck feels sore even though it's not. <laughs> Knowing what that's gonna feel like for a little flat slide there, dab at the brakes. And you can see there's quite a bit of banking down and that's gonna be the challenge in that corner is not getting too wide on the entry. Speed through here, brake up into the hill, wrap it around, start to apply the throttle. Same thing here. What I mean by busy? I guess you can run down here, a little shorter way around. Traffic is going to be issue. It's only the two GTD classes, but they're going to be all over each other. Zigzagging up the bank, down the bank. Here you're going to probably want to stay up the whole way so that you can get it down off the bank with the car as flat as you can. And checkered flag, lap of the Charlotte Roval. Thanks for joining us.